Sung Jim Ryuk Soo, Mr. Piet Sokhan. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of Soksan Sport Club and the purpose of this club as well, sir? Yeah, thank you so much for the question. Um, Soksan Sport, we, I, I, I put Soksan Sport as a name because we are not too far from Soksan Road and my nickname is Soksan as well. So I put Soksan as the, the name of this sport. And um, our purpose is we just want to play football for health. And also I am, um, I want to, to create more activities just for the kids. We create the Soksan Soccer School for the kids who would like to come and train how to play football. And, and we can add add up more, more, more sports like netball as well, so not only football, but netball as well. We created Soksan because I want to play football as well. I like to play football. I want my friend to play here with me. I don't want to go somewhere which is far from my, my house. <laughs> and um, I also would like to um, bring all the kids who are living in Siem Reap to come to play and train foot football with our coach, especially during the weekends. Um, most of the kids, including my kids, during the weekends, they are staying home and they like to play phones. Everyone with the, flow, with the phones all the time. So I feel that um, this is not good for, for my kids and also for other Cambodian kids as well. So I create Soksan Soccer Schools. We have our coach and then all those kids can come to train how to play football with our coaches. We have Cambodian coach and foreigners coach as well. So our purpose is create a small community so that every, everyone can come here to play football for health, for friendship, and for improvements. So for transport at the moment, we have footballs for uh, friend, friendship, for a friendly match. All the soccer uh, football classes at uh, Soksan Sport Club are those for professional uh, professional sessions only, or are you opening those sessions for the children who also want to play football as their hobby as well? Thank you so much for the questions. Yes, uh, Soksan Sport is the small communities that every everyone can come here to play sports especially footballs for their health, for their friendships and for the improvements. Um, Soksan Sport at the moment, we have our soccer school as well. We open our uh, football class for children who live in Siem Reap. We want them to live from school, from the phones and from uh, uh, doing other things which is not good for them. Soksan Soccer School, we are open for everyone. Soccer School is different from Academy. Academy, they select only, only talent kids to join their, their teams. But Soccer School, we welcome for everyone. And even they are big, they are small, they are tall, they are short. We welcome to everyone. And our, our coach, we have all the levels. We have coaches for, for the... Um, the kids under under eight, under ten, under twelve, and under fourteen. So we have all the levels. So uh, I've heard that you also have a professional, uh, like uh, the trainers, to train all the kids during the uh, football sessions. Uh, so so far, how how many trainers are there at uh, Soksan Sport, and where are they from? At the moment, we have six coaches. Four of them are Cambodians, and two of them are foreigners. One from United States, another one from Brazil. Another four, they are originally from Siem Reap. Some of them, they used to be the professional players. At the moment, they are trainers and uh, the leader of some professional uh, football clubs. So they have experience and they used to play in a, in a professional club already even Cambodians and those foreigners uh, coaches. So uh, they used to be professional football players and now they want to share their experience and their uh, love for the football to uh, the younger generation. And about one more thing, 
uh, are there any foreign uh, foreign children or foreigners who also participate uh, at the sport club as well? Oh yeah, we have a lot of um, foreigners kids here. They are from French, some of them from from uh, Norway, from from United States, from Australia. A lot of them here. We have around more than ten, I think. And um, they are training with all our our coach and, and our kids here. And they are, they have fun yeah. a lot here. Yeah? Just so they they having fun a lot. So are, are they uh, playing here only for a hobby or they, uh, are they aiming for uh, becoming a professional football? Um, in fact, Soksan soccer school we open for everyone, and we want those children to live from from phones, their bad habits. So we want them to do some things to not just stay home and playing phones. And um, if they want to be a professional player in the future, yeah, we can, we, we encourage them to, to try more and our coaches happy and willing to help them. But in case that they just want to play for fun, no problem, just let them enjoy it. So we don't, we don't comment that everyone have to be professional players in the future, no. We open for everyone and we, we let everyone decide what they want to do in the future. So uh, to, to sum up, uh, the, the, uh, the football field right here is open not only for the Cambodians, but also for foreigners who want to uh, practice their sports skill uh, in Simbria, whether uh, on uh, the tourism or whether during their long stay in Cambodia also. But uh, so far, have you ever held any uh, the friendship tournaments or the champion league and so on at, in, in here? So. Um, we have a league. Um, we call it Simriap Titan Leagues. It just finished a few months ago. Um, those leagues, we have a team in Simriap, Cambodian teams and also the team from for uh, foreigners, expats who are living in Cambodia, especially in Simriap. So they create a team and they join with the team, the local teams, and then uh, we play such a league. We call Simbriya Titan Leagues. And this league, we will do it every year. So not only Cambodian, foreigners also can come here to play and enjoy with our teams in, in here. So uh, you also had a league like uh, two months ago. So how, how, how was the experience? Uh, do you think it was a success? And uh, are you hoping for holding more tournaments in here? Um, in Soksan, we have decided to create at least three football tournaments per year. Um, we have done one already last time, last um, June. We we have our uh, Soksan Kid Cup. So I mostly um, create the, the tournament for the kids. And also the second one is the Simbriya Titan League, which is for everyone. And then um, in the future, yeah, we, we will create more 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 tournament especially for the girls we also planning to 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 have a tournament for them and also um, yeah in end of the year we also have another another tournament for the kids as well but for the um, um, your league or something no we don't we don't we don't um, planning yet I see. So uh, in here, you are not only promoting sport to the children, but also uh, bringing the foreigners into uh, sport activity in Cambodia as well. So I just want to know, what do you think if we make a uh, Soksan sport club to be a tourism site, like the the place that uh, foreigners can come to enjoy and relax and continue their sport activity although they are on uh, the trip or uh, let's say uh, during their stay in Cambodia and Simdiap in particular. In our program from next month, December on, Soksan Sport will provide more service, more options for the um, tourists who like to come visiting the temples visiting other interesting places in Simriap and Cambodia. And in case they want to join our team for playing football sometimes, yeah, we have those kind of package. Some of them, in case that a family, they come to, to Simriap, 
the parents they want to go to temples, the kids they want to stay with us. We have those kind of packages as well. So in the future, we will create more package for those tourists who would love to come being a, a tourist and, and sport together. So uh, as a person who loves sport, uh, football especially, but besides football, do you have any plans to do uh, uh, any other sport as well, like uh, cycling or anything else? Um, so on sport at the moment, we are not only have soccer schools, we also have an, uh, an, a new sport called netballs. Netballs is kind of sport that we play similar to the basketballs, but it's not the same at all. Some, some rule is the uh, same, but some rule is different. And these netballs, we have our coaches from Australia, and we train every Saturday afternoons. And um, from next year, we will create more, more class for the um, junior and also senior team as well. So not only soccer school, we also have netballs. So, Mr. Sopsan, are you happy with the current process of Sopsan Sport Club or do you have any other plans to bring to Sopsan Sport Club, sir? Um, at the moment, we have a lot of uh, supporters, especially parents of those um, of the kids that come to play and, and train football with our coach. But it's not enough. I want Sopsan Sport to have more kids in Simriap and not only in Simriap. We can, I wish that I can have two other provinces as well. So we want to create more activities for the kids to make them away from the phones and uh, to have Cambodian football to step up another level. So uh, thank you so much, Mr. Uh, uh, Sokhan, for sharing with us your perspective you so and much. your insights about uh, football field uh, in Simbri Province. Thank you.